Do you use Ignite for your file storage and sharing needs? Well, let me show you how to integrate it with JotForm workflows. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Ignite and you also utilize JotForm workflows, you can now integrate the two together and it really is simple. So top left-hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead and jump from my forms over into my workflows and we'll create a new workflow. And for this, we're gonna do a one-step approval process. And we can see we have our starting point, which is going to be our Ignite form up at the top. We have the approval, and then we have approval or deny, and then we have it ending. So let's go ahead and choose our form to complete the settings. Now we can either choose a form from down here. If you don't see the form that you need, you can always create a new one up here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my Ignite form. Perfect, let's go ahead and add our recipients. We'll choose from our form fields, which is going to be that email field. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and bring this down. I'm going to delete this link and over on the left hand side, let's jump over to integrations and right here we see ignite. Now from here we can send files to ignite. So let's go ahead and drag this in here and we can complete this link. So if the approval is approved, it's going to send the files over to ignite. So let's go ahead and complete our settings. And if this is your first time integrating Ignite with JotForm, you're going to need to authenticate your account. But up at the top, we see it's wanting us to select a folder destination. So let's select a folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose the documents. And now we need to enter a folder name. For this one, I'm going to do file uploads, perfect. And do we want it to create a subfolder for each submission? And yes, I do. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And we can see it's automatically gonna populate as the submission ID, as the file name. I want it to be a little bit more descriptive. I'm gonna pull from our form fields. I want this to be the name, and then we can do the date that it was submitted. And now we can send the submission PDF, so a PDF of the submission, and we can also send the files that this person is uploading over into Ignite. So we're gonna go ahead and do that submission, and we can also send the files that they upload into our form. It's gonna be from the file upload element. So we can go ahead and save, and we can now see that we are good to go. So let's go ahead, let's do publish, let's open in a new tab, and let's give this a test. All right, and we'll submit. And since I am an approver on this form, I'm gonna get an email to let me know that, hey, you need to come in and approve or deny. But since we're already in JotForm, I can choose where it says Workflow Builder, and I can just go ahead and jump over into my inbox. And we can see we have action required for John Smith. I can review all of their information, including their file upload. If it's approved, let's go ahead and approve. And since we have that integration with Ignite, it's going to say that we have integrations running right here waiting for those running integrations and one thing i love about this is jotform gives you the direct links to these files within ignite so we can either click here but i'm going to go ahead and jump over into ignite and i'm going to head over to my documents and here we have our file uploads which it jotform created for us and here we see john smith and the date as well as the two uploads we have the submission pdf as well as the upload that john gave us and it really is as simple as that if you have any questions about how to integrate ignite with JotForm workflows let us know down below in the comments if you like this video and you got some value hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video i'll see you next time